December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. In a surprise assault, American warplanes were caught on the ground and bombed. Most of them were disabled. That crippled our air opposition to the Japs, and their planes were able to swarm over the harbor and bomb and torpedo the warships there. The United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. At the time of the attack, I was in my room shaving. The word was passed, away fire and rescue party. I glanced at my clock as I was leaving my room and noticed the time was a few minutes before 8 a.m. Back on the third deck, all the lights were out and only a few flashlights were available. About this time, the word came along from man to man to abandon ship. I helped a partially incapacitated man to the second deck and then joined in a line, passing injured men along to the ladder by the dental office. I lost all knowledge of time when here, but after some minutes, Ensign McClellan, who was beside me in the line, said he was feeling faint and then collapsed. I noticed other men dropping around me. I stepped over to pick up Mr. McClellan, but when I stepped over, I got dizzy and fell. I seemed to be paralyzed from the waist down. I had a great difficulty breathing, but enough strength in my arms to drag myself to the ladder and up a couple steps before I collapsed completely. My life is proof of the courage disregard of personal danger on the part of my unknown shipmates. Daniel Lewis Westfall Initial recoveries actually began very soon after the incident. So on December 8th through December 16th, they covered 29 individuals that they were able to identify, but the vast majority, they could not identify individually, just they didn't have enough information. The salvage operations, so starting in July of 1942 until May of 1944, the operations began. The remains had been in the ship for several years, decomposed and placed. Um, they were already commingled at that point when the recovery operations had started. So they put all of the lower limbs in one casket, all of the skulls in one casket, which really kind of even furthered the, the commingling issue. April of 2015, SACDEF put forward guidance for us to disinter all of the remains from the USS Oklahoma, which started this um, big identification effort that we're doing. We had the, the first identification within three months. Currently, we have over 50 identifications from the project, from this last disinterment, and we expect um, to have the majority of the individuals identified in the next four years. I don't think families ever can get closure, but they, they can get answers and get the pieces of their puzzle back together.